Okay, I'm not one for product reviews and stuff like that, but I just received this uh, copper fit pressure gloves in the mail. I just got these today, and for those of you who don't know, this finger and this thumb are almost numb, and uh, they tingle painfully when I'm working, and at night it's hard to sleep because uh, it, the whole hand goes numb, and it just drives me nuts. And I got these pressure gloves, it, it's for hand relief, and believe me, it, I, it, it, it's so much better. It's unbelievable. Uh, anyway, I just want to let you know about these. If, if you got hand problems or joint problems or circulation problems, these might help. I don't know. But, you know, check them out on YouTube. There's plenty of videos on it. And uh, anyway, and then also, I got to take these off because I can't handle my clay in it because that'll get them filthy and uh, but this could help me sleep at night which would be a real blessing I like the way they go on and, and if you're a, a game player like I am on my computer and on uh, uh, PlayStation 4 uh, they are really nice for that too because they uh, they give you support in your wrist and your fingers so that you're less likely to have a car carpal tunnel. I got another product today at the post office. You buy them and they're supposed to ship them by UPS, but UPS takes them to the post office. But I got that silly gum that I was showing you how to make uh, uh, silicone tools with and uh, I got the big containers of it this is uh, how many ounces is this 300 grams this is a big one and uh, it was not cheap but I figured you know the, the little ones will last me forever so this will, should last me for a long time you can also make molds of things using this material so I got this today too and uh, all right, now let's get started sculpting and get away from all this stuff that I've gotten in the mail. <laughs> Time to play with some clay. Okay, I've decided to take the strap off the uh, shield and the reason why is I was on the phone with a fr an artist friend of mine down in Texas. He's had a lot of uh, uh, knowledge on the Indian culture and stuff like that. And he wanted to make a comment about my putting straps on the uh, shield. And he said that every shield he's ever seen and old ones he's seen, uh, none of them had uh, straps on them. And he uh, said that Every shield he's ever seen, there might be a short strap to maybe hang it on to a pole uh, outside the teepee or uh, onto a saddle horn um, when he's riding or uh, you know, just some other way of attaching it uh, to carry it. But uh, And I was looking through the photographs I'd collected on the back of shields and found that he was absolutely right. Uh, the, on the uh, Sioux shields that I collected uh, photographs of, and let me tell you, finding photographs of shields with the back showing is very, 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 very hard to get and find. But uh, anyway, it just, uh, he suggested I take that long strap off because quite honestly uh, that would be interfering in in battle if uh, you were fighting somebody and you had to worry about the strap that's hanging off your arms loose or off your back and coming off your shoulders and all that stuff so I took the uh, I'm going to take the uh, long strap off and that settles 
that abil that uh, problem, and I'm still arranging my legs of my sculpting stand so that I can turn the table without hitting that table over there. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the clay a little bit, and uh, the shield keeps falling off because I don't have a real long wire going into the body of the uh, warrior, so I'm going to have to uh, adjust that. But uh, I got to clean up where I had the strap. It just makes it less bothersome having a strap there because now I don't have to worry about it being cast and it's not going to cost extra to have it cast and it doesn't really add anything to the clay. It just was something I thought had to have on there and I found out I don't need it. All right, that's all I'm going to do today. I just, I'm running out of time. I, I spent uh, today getting some DVDs out that people have ordered and uh, that always takes priority over my sculpting uh, because I like to get stuff turned around real quick and get them out to the client right away. That little part on his knee bothered me. I like it better now. And I got the same problem on this knee. Now I'll work on that later. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do today. Um, it makes life a lot easier and simpler without that strap going around his shoulders. And tomorrow I can continue working on his hair. And from what I understand, the hair on some of these warriors would be get really long, like down to past their waist. And so I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Crazy Horse was, well, there's a description of, of him. Anyway, here's a, a description about Crazy Horse. He was uh, a queer man. This is by, uh, in a book called Black Elk Speaks. He was a queer man and would go about the village. And queer back then had a different meaning than it does now. It just means he was strange. Uh, and would go about the village without noticing people or saying anything. In his own teepee, he would make, would joke. And when he was with on the warpath with a small party, he would joke to make his warriors feel good. But around the village, he hardly ever noticed anybody except little children uh, and old people. All the Lakotas liked to dance and sing, but he never joined in dances. And they say nobody ever heard him sing. But everybody liked him, and they would do anything he wanted uh, or go anywhere he said. So he had, he was, he was a man apart from the rest, and uh, he didn't dress elaborately. He was uh, subdued in his dress, and uh, that was part of his vision, and... Uh, he didn't take scalps. Uh, he didn't uh, mutilate uh, his his uh, victims, but uh, he lived his own way, and uh, you got to have respect for him. And I I I know he killed settlers and people. You know, killed all kinds of. Uh, what we would consider innocent people, but he was defending his land and his way of life. And I can't say I hold that against him. So anyway, all right, good night, everybody, and uh, I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.